When I was a little kid attending my home church, there was a man there named Clarence Sakharak, and we all called him Old Man Sakharak. I would see him most Sundays, um, and my interactions with him were limited, but I remember those interactions, even though I was really young. I remember one time I had come out of Sunday school and was waiting for my parents to get done with the church service, and old man Sakharak came and knelt by me, and he said, Hey, Marcus, if Jesus walked through the doors of our church today, do you think you would recognize him? And as a kid, I said, Well, of course I would. You know, I, I pictured he would be coming in with a crown of thorns and, you know, nail marks in his hands. Of course I'd recognize Jesus. But as I've gotten older, I've continued to think about that question. If Jesus walked through the door, would I recognize him? Would I know that it was him? Old Man Sakharak was an example for me when I was young and even even today, as I remember some of the conversations that we had, he was somebody I could look up to in the faith. Our faith is filled with countless examples of people who have lived the life of faith and lived it well. People who have walked their entire life journey as someone who is striving to serve God and serve the people around them. But there are also examples we can find right here in our own parish. When you receive the Sacrament of Confirmation, we ask you to choose somebody that we call a sponsor. A sponsor is somebody who is mature in the faith, somebody who can accompany you along this journey toward confirmation. Your sponsor will stand with you and pray for you when you receive the sacrament, and hopefully, your sponsor will continue throughout your life to serve as something of a spiritual mentor, somebody who can uh, guide you along the right path and have conversations with you about some of your questions about the faith. That doesn't mean they can answer all of your questions about the faith. I, I probably can't answer all of your questions about the faith. But what a sponsor can do is help you along that road to draw closer to God, to learn what it means to be a practicing Catholic, someone who strives to serve God and serve the community. So when you're thinking about who you want to choose for your sponsor, there are a few things to keep in mind. One, your sponsor has to be somebody different than your godparents. Right? Your godparents were chosen when you were baptized, and we ask that your sponsor be somebody different. Your sponsor should be a confirmed Catholic who is in good standing with the church. What that means is your sponsor should be someone who practices his or her faith, who tries to live it out. Your sponsor also can't be one of your parents. You know, it's, it's assumed that if your parents are living out the faith well, then they're already kind of serving in that role. So your sponsor should be somebody with a bit of a different perspective, somebody who doesn't have the parental relationship to you, but can have a different sort of mentorship relationship. And because the role of the sponsor is something of a mentor, it's encouraged that you choose someone who is maybe a bit older, you know, someone like Old Man Sakharak, or uh, someone in the parish that you see that uh, obviously practices the faith, or it doesn't have to be someone from our parish either. If you've known someone your whole life who is a deep, devoted Catholic and you think that person would be perfect as my sponsor, then maybe that's the person you should ask. On Sunday, January 10th, I will ask you to let me know who the sponsor is that you've chosen and to give me some contact information for that person. So you have roughly a month to find your confirmation sponsor. Maybe you already know who you would like to choose. Um, but if you don't, and if you're struggling to find someone, uh, please let me know. Shoot me an email. I would be glad to sponsor any of you who would like it. 
Um, but I can also suggest some other people from our parish who you might want to reach out to and contact and, and see if they would be interested in serving as your sponsor as well. The reason we have sponsors for confirmation is because none of us are on this journey alone. We don't enter the church alone. We aren't a part of the church alone. We are all in this together. And as someone who is fully joining the church, you deserve to have somebody there who will guide you and help you along the way. Now please read the material below, answer the reflection questions, and check out the forms that you'll need to send to your sponsor once you choose who your sponsor will be. Have a great week.